Hey YouTube, hello, what's up? We got we got some stuff to talk about. Some crazy th shit happens, and uh, yeah, I don't know how to make heads or tails of it. I have just fired up stream, and the moment I fired it up, we have info. Yinlin and four days info at that. Okay, so uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. Let's find out what blood is waffling about. Or oh, yeah, added, holy yapping. Holy yapping. Okay, no, it's fine, it's fine, fine. We can we can speed run through this. We'll be chilling. Dear Rovers, greetings. We are the Weathering Waves dev team. Since official lot of Weathering Waves, we received a lot of valuable feedback, suggestions through social media and in-game surveys. We're generally grateful for your attention on the spot. This straight away, I like yeah, that is basic to say, but with the news that I have heard about, not again, I haven't confirmed it myself. They genuinely care about and listen to every single person's input and support. So uh kind of nuclear. We apologize for deficiencies and issues present in Wuthering Waves, our first fully independently developed and globally published gaming career games, but we do understand that this is a factor of gaming experience and we are working to improve it for those who love the game. Huge. We've been working on optimizations and iterations of the current 1.0 version and the development how oi allowed. Subsequent versions of the update also underway. Below, we will address some of the most discussed and concerned issues. Huge. No one loves a game dev more than me who is willing to admit their shortcomings and mistakes. Okay? I think that is like really underrated. People can't like, yeah, having mistakes is one thing, but actually owning up to them is insane. Kuro is huge for it. Because look, as much as you love the game and as good as your computer is, some people like me have had a couple issues, but it's not the end of the world. Let's start, okay? On the Echo development. Wait, wait, they changed Echoes! Oh my god, please, 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 wait, 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 shut up. Are they actually changed Echoes? Can you recycle Echoes into Echoes to make XP? Wait a minute. The Echo development feels grindy and inadequate energy materials. Yes, true. We are aware of the common concern of the community that Echo leveling experience feels too grindy and lacks the wave plate storage system. We have, concern we have confirmed and will implement the following adjustments while we are working on internally on solutions to address the common concerns. Wait, hold on. Whoa, wait, wait. Are they actually going to change it? Wait, wait, wait. They're actually going to change it. This is the biggest critique I have with this game is the Echo system. I think it's absolute cheeks. These changes make me want to dream a ball. Amen. What'd you miss? We're going over it now. In the current version, we'll launch a limited time echo material double yield event called Cleansing. Kind of huge. They're going to give us an event to be like, hey, this will help you catch up to speed. And in version 1.1, we will adjust the progression system to reduce the shell cut across of echo development. Oh my god. In version 1.1, we'll remove the reward cutscene of the Tassel field. Okay, so it's less grindy. Nice. From version 1.1 onward, the yield of echoes and echo development materials will be increased. When they say the yield of echo and echo development materials, are they telling me they're going to drop more echoes? We're getting more echo drops? Wait. Wait. A, wait. A, wait a second. Uh, more echoes and more tubes. Yeah, yeah. More XP and more echoes by the sounds of things. Uh, in, in, in upcoming updates, we'll introduce the wave plate storage system. Oh, so just like HSR. Oh, that's what I'd love to see. Kind of like how it's either going to overflow, or you can condense them and kind of put them in somewhere else. That That is massive. Regarding the handling of the reward system error when recycling developed echoes. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. This is the biggest problem. This is the biggest problem. going to fix it off rip? Wait, 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 wait. Genshin's scary. Genshin's getting scared. Genshin's quaking in the boots. On May 29th, 2024, we were notified of an issue echo recycling system where the amount of shell credits players obtained when recycling developed echoes was wrong. <laughs> Since this is an issue that directly impacts the game's balance, we fix the problem by uh, fix the problem through an emergency live update same night. Issue conversation all players. True. As part of the me measures minimize the impact of uh, the event's impact. Yada yada yada. We inform players of the situation and that's what we remove all additional side credits from being especially the the conversation called him. Yeah, this was um was this not six hundred thousand to everybody? Because I kind of woke up and I went damn. Why do I have six hundred k in my mail? That's why. Okay. 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 Understandable. Uh, let me move chat a little more so you guys can actually be like legible. I think this would be the play. There's a good spot. Uh, there's more info. Dude, the more info is actually kind of scaring me a little bit. Let me actually change the title to Huge Wuwa News. <laughs> Massive Wuwa News. Oh my days, man. Oh my days. Some games could never. Genshin in the bin, quaking, shitting, and crying right now. Uh, however, due to the urgency of this issue, we failed to issue an announcement of this issue in the first instance, which regrettably caused negative experience for our players. We apologize and blah blah blah. You know, sorry that happened. Following an internal discussion, we decided to compensate all players with shelf credits on the maximum amount of shelf credit that has been unexpectedly yielded through this bug to address the negative impact caused. Holding, we will round up to the nearest whole number of extra compensation to all players. One million credits. Cinema. Cinema. I am here. I am here and... I love it. Everyone saying that Kuro is not their type, uh, Kuro is not their dev, and Wuthering Waves is not their type of game, currently crying right now. 
What? What? Holy shit, dude. Uh, and this will happen on the 10th of June, by the looks of things. Okay. Uh, characters, blah, 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 before May 30th. Yes, all of us qualify. We apologize again for the hasty way we handled this issue and improbably wording for our announcements. We promise that all our future decisions will reflect through consideration professionalism. Dude, the amount of we were wrongs here is amazing. I am I am so happy that they're actually just taking it and uh, like taking it on the chin and being like, we're going to be better in the future. You know, as opposed to three pull impacts, as Val said himself. Uh, yeah, they kind of just pretend. They they pre they ignore their criticism, right? They ignore their criticism. Kind of kind of nuts. Uh, yeah, anyway. Uh, additionally, to address poor experience, the Echo System will compensate all rovers with 20 crystal solvent. What? <laughs> dude, what? Okay, okay, dude. Th here's the thing. I'm not going to spend any of these. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait till 50. Like, UL 50. Maybe 40. We'll see. But, uh, we, I might wait till 50 to rip these. Because, my God. That's 60. That's six hours of fuel times 20. Six by 20 is 120 Oopsies. quick muffs let us give you double echo drops 20 fuels over capping one mil credits and more yep uh for reference we've got 10 of the same amount in hsr for anniversary yeah exactly like to play devil's advocate this is because they believe they made a wrong and they want to right that wrong whereas hsr was kind of just like it's our anniversary here's a here's a little bit of a bonus you know but like you know issue or like because like the means of why this came about or not 20 is massive and they are showing they give huge rewards to mistakes right they're not trying to be hey here's a hundred apologems for uh yeah completely just crashing your PC. You know what I mean? Yeah, 1200 weight plates is terrifying, dude. Oh, manga. And, okay, the error in the five-star weapon descriptions. Okay, this was regarding Gion's, uh, I believe it was Gion's weapon. It was worded wrong in the Japanese translation. And, yeah, kind of made a lot of people upset. A description of the five-star weapon, Gion's weapon. Mistranslation. Discovering the issue, we corrected the description and issued compensation. Uh, we had a internal review and localized version of the in-game text across the languages that we support. Any corrections made during the process include upcoming updates. We apologize for the mess up and we're committed to improving the quality and making a better experience for everyone. Love to hear it. In the meantime, we're for a one-time compensation of forging ties to all rovers for the known localization issue. So I don't believe this applies to us. I believe it was only Japanese that had this massive problem. I'm pretty sure it was only Japanese, but again, I can't say for sure I wasn't entirely in the loop on this one. This is to everyone. To all rovers for the... N oh, to all rovers! Okay, I thought this meant to the, all the rovers in the areas where localization bugged them out. We take five. Dude, five limited uh, weapon balls? Okay. Uh... Fair. As we, there's a mistake in translation from my end, and a mistake in the translation from their end. Huge. As we endeavor to improve and make localization better, we improve the localizations worldwide through in-game feedback and customer support. Thank you for your patience and understanding. Distribution time, June 3rd. Okay, it's it's all coming out in the next couple of days, right? In the next, like, three days, we'll get most of this stuff. Okay, on version events. We have received extensive feedback on the duration and rewards of Overdash Club event. To address your concerns, we are currently in the process of redesigning the rules and reward schemes, upcoming events, and immediate solutions are as below. We will introduce a limited time special event, Wuthering Exploration, to offer new rewards and content to improve your gaming experience. Wait, they're just... Wait, hold on. They're just adding? They're just adding a new event to be like, hey, this event was mid, here's the second one? Wait, 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 wait. Introduce a new limited time event, Wuthering Exploration, to offer new rewards and content to improve your gaming experience. They made an event to 1.0, yeah. Dude, they were, they were like, the crazier thing is, we'll go into it after we read all this, okay? I got so much to say about uh, who you're right now. <laughs> Mr. Beast? Yeah, dude, Mr. Beast Kuro Games. Event duration, 6th of the 13th, which was two weeks ago? Oh, no, sorry, when do you know? Okay, so this starts in a week. Oh, well, a week and a few days, week and a half. And it gives you 800 Astrite, an Echo, huge, two Echoes, uh, premium tuners, and sealed tubes. Massive, massive. Moving forward, we'll make a greater collective experience, blah, blah, blah. We are sorry that we made a mistake. We made an oopsie. And future up, uh, future version update timeline. Since the law, uh, launch of Woo Woo, Woo Woo? Woo Woo. Extensive feedback around the damn storyline, support. We listen closely and grow for the enthusiasm from all the players, which exceeded our expectations. Okay, the story. We can all agree it was dog a doo doo, okay? It was bad. And I did see that they are putting job applications out for people who are good at story writing and, um,. I believe scripting, so they are evident and they want to make it better. Everything up to Act 6 was kind of shit, right? Like, legit cheeks, but I find, I found Act 6 like a solid 7 out of 10. It was, it was pretty enjoyable, you know? It wasn't great by any means, but it was, it was definitely fast-paced and entertaining. Uh, but how do they fix that? 
To allow everyone early access to experience more content that features Weathering Ways 1.0, we've decided to advance the release of subsequent content 1.0 starting on June. This release. Wait. We've decided to advance the release of subsequent content 1.0 starting on June 6th. In four days. This release will include the companion story for Yinlin. The featured resonated convene event, Yinlin. And limited time event, along with more spin off events and features. So 1.1's done. <laughs> what the fuck? What's. What's going What? What, <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, Weathering Waves. <laughs> what? Weathering Waves version 1.0 will last until June 28th, uh, and after which will be scheduled for further downtime to implement further update 1.1 for eons, which will include new area. Okay, new area confirmed Mount Firmament. And resonators Jinsi and Shangli and new boss Zue. Okay, I. Whoa. <laughs> new area. Boom. Resonator Jinsi, Shangli. Obviously, we knew that. New boss. New weekly boss. We take this. I'm pretty sure they're done to 1.3. I mean, they definitely sound like they have a lot of stuff already finished. And they're pushing it forward because either they knew release was going to be choppy. Or they want to have a backup plan in the event of shit ever going bad. And I love the fact that they have a plan B. Because how do you only go to plan A? Plan B don't exist. Plan B is 100 apologems or apologies, right? Dog or water. To compensate for inconvenience caused with version timing and tuning adjustments, we will continue, we'll issue more compensation, which is 10 limited pools. Thank you for your understanding and support for detailed information on the event time. Please refer to the in-game announcements. Okay, well. My god! Guys, we're halfway. <laughs> we're halfway! What, what is going on? What the hell is going on? And this will happen on June 3rd. So those who want to pull for Gian to get another temple to try. Okay. Yin's coming early. Yinlin's coming in four days. I uh, I am as shocked as you are. New area, new boss, new resonators. Yinlin will get released earlier than expected. 2060 wayplates, echo improvement, wayplate storage soon. 10 ready inside, five weapon pools, one mil credits at the moment. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, dude. Ah, why are you playing? What, what, what? You gonna play a little baby game? Play a goddamn Gadget Impact? What, are you gonna get your four pools off doing 86 story quests and fucking 86 companion quests, dude? Crazy. Crazy that you picked it over this. Okay, on Pomba. Okay, so this is an adjustment to some of the buggy stuff in combat by the sound of things. We've heard feedback based on the issues we have identified following issues and how to fix them. Auto waving, auto lock on, and camera performance. Oh my god, this was the most annoying thing in the game. I love this game, gotta be critical. Whatever the hell happens to the camera in the middle of fights absolutely grinds my gears. It just snaps away and no matter how much you whip your mouse, it keeps locking to nothing, right? infuriating shit and they're already addressing it which is massive in the recent updates we've disabled the combat camera correction feature on pc by default Oyo is fuming yeah Huyoverse quaking right now <laughs> you can't move it all yeah it happens to a lot of people but the thing is it is apparently it's an in-game feature i never knew that i never heard anyone talk about that we've also optimized the default values and ranges for combat camera settings bosses existing combat state Wait, bosses exist in combat state unexpectedly? What? Uh, recent updates, uh, aggro ranges and certain bosses, including the Memphis, Crownless, and Myriad, and Heron. We adjust the prerequisite because enemies to leave the combat state, and normal disengagements. In the upcoming updates, we'll introduce a disengagement warning feature. Okay, cool. Cool, so it kind of tells you if you do run out of the area that it's, it's Jobo, right? I've never really had an issue with this. You just walk in, you just perfect dodge, you just parry, you just kill. I've, I've never had to get out of an area and then be like, damn, I've lured them out to the outside of their range and they're dead. Maybe it's a skill issue thing, who knows. Uh, Ghost Touches on Mobile. Who's playing this mobile? I don't know how you're doing it, but props to you. Uh, yeah, they're fixing that. Uh, as that's what they're saying. They have a ghost, anti-ghost touch area around buttons. Me? Yeah, Luma. I don't know how you do it, but all props to you, man. Uh, delayed availability of custom key binding. Oh, this for... This for both PC and mobile? Or is this... What's this? 1.1... The prerequisite to unlock the custom keybind feature will be lowered to unit level 2. Oh, so still in the game, they just, like, lower it. Okay, that's fine. Our uh, controller mode experience. I think this game on controller does not work. It feels so bad and terrible. So, I'm gonna skip that one. If you play on controller, go crazy. It ain't for me. Uh, poor game field design and impact signification. Uh, significance is probably the correct word there, but it's fine. Uh, in future versions, we'll constantly improve and the event signification and game, game feel design for characters and monsters, enhancing the overall combat experience, positive feedback during battles. Other content. No purchase limits for the store systems like Flower. We've added weekly purchase limits. Who? <laughs> it's not really a thing. Audio and sound bug effects have been fixed. Performance issues crashed in this ability. They are addressing and trying to make that better. Uh, we're currently identifying courses, so it's not going to be 
immediate fixes, but it is something I'm very much aware of, which is huge. Uh, definitely Lush Realm event optimization updates. Uh, this is the Simu event, I believe. We have received numerous players uh, suggestions regarding Lush Realm 1.0, 1.1 update. We will further improve this event, new content, including more playable characters, new challenges, new mechanics, and new buffs. Apart from the adjustments mentioned above, we recognize that there are still many ways the game can affect players' experiences. Okay, they ain't even done. They're just saying, bear with us. We're going to fix it all. Thank you for supporting Wuthering Waves. All right, look, as a whole, we need to talk. We need to talk about this being the, whether you like Kuro Games or Wuthering Waves or not, this is the new medium, right? Taking accountability, rewarding your players for your fuck-ups, changing things that need to be changed. Listening to your player base is the biggest one, in my opinion. We have to give credit where the credit is due. They have really stuck the landing with some of the issues that happen, right? Because when you when you critique Kuro, it is um it is such a bizarre experience because everything from what Punishing Grey Raven fans have said is true. They fix it like that straight away. They're like, hey, look, I get the mess ups. We're gonna fix it, you know? Don't dunk on it anymore because you're gonna love this in about three days, right? I'm also gonna say it was a massive L. I'm just gonna put it out there. They would have made more money if they put Yinmo in Battle 1. But look, Gian still made plenty of money, so it's, it's neither here nor there. People are gonna load up regardless. But yeah, I can't I can't believe Kuro Games be doing this to us, man. They are spoiling us. They are really spoiling us. Their first map map increase is uh how you say <laughs> amount as well? Kinda crazy. Kind of crazy. Look, even I'll draw that comparison, okay? I'll do it. The only owl here is people who are grinding this banner to try and get as many wave bands as possible, or the people who are grinding this banner to get as many weapons as possible. But I, I think the people who wanted these banners have already gotten what they wanted. They don't need to save much longer. It's, uh, yeah, it's kind of it's kind of curtains for the Gian enjoyers. Kind of curtains. You got Gian's banner for R6 Gian dungeon. Well, damn. <laughs> Sucks to be you. But, boys, uh, I think it is time to say, okay? It's time to say a goodbye to YouTube. <laughs> Drop a like and subscribe. If you, uh, yeah, love all their wives. If not, if you, hey, look, if you, if you type amen in the comments, if you love Wuwa, keep scrolling. If you like Satan. Or if you like Genshin Impact, which is arguably worse. So, yeah, enjoy. <laughs>